Right. Uh, there's no uh, script on the prompter. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure if you knew. I mean, I could just ad lib. Welcome to Netlink Daily, guys, the show where Keys writes things on the prompter or doesn't, and I completely ignore them either way. Computex is winding down, but there's still a bunch of tech stuff that's being shown off and we can't leave it out in the cold. I am not that kind of guy. Last year, MSI gave us a peek at its GS30 Shadow laptop dock thing for external GPUs, and the company has now refined its design with the Gaming Dock Mini. It's still meant for use with the same laptop, but its design is a lot smoother and slicker and doesn't require a desktop power supply even. MSI has also slapped an external GPU module onto an all-in-one, the AX24, and they're apparently working on a singular external GPU dock that would run over the new Thunderbolt 3 standard, although we've been hearing this since Thunderbolt 1. Oh, external GPU docks are coming. So I don't know whether I can believe it this time or whether to just be furious that they're getting my hopes up again. Deep Cool showed off a few different case designs that in turn, I guess, showed off their GPUs. The cases are very compact mini ITX cases, one with a transparent module on top containing the graphics card and another with a segmented design, clearly displaying the GPU in the fourth segment. They're sort of similar to the new extremely modular DEF CON 1 MATX case that's currently on Indiegogo. The model places the single or dual GPU on the opposite side of the motherboard with their own window and everything. It's good to see deep cool coming back to a box design for a PC case though. The uh, Tri-Stellar was a little bit out there, kind of stellar, like, like not stellar good, stellar like interstellar in space. Topper is taking a page from Apple's book and developing pressure sensitive switches for their keyboards. I mean, okay, Apple's pressure sensitive tech is actually in a trackpad, not a keyboard, and pressure sensitive keyboards We've seen before on the touch cover and it wasn't very good that time, but for all we know, uh, Toper is gonna do it like way better. They had one of their staffers demoing the tech playing Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata on one of their real force keyboards. And I had a hard time keeping my eyes dry because it was beautiful. <laughs> the keyboard, I don't care about music at all. Time for quick bits. HP is apparently taking the most futuristic part out of their super futuristic computer technology known as the machine. The plan to use Memristors, which is as fast as DRAM, but can permanently store data as the core of the system is out for now. But HP is still working on a memory driven PC running Linux. So we may see the machine eventually just, um, yeah, isn't it sad how that is? It's like, it's like concept cars. It's like you guys built that and no one is ever gonna be able to buy it. Why did you even bother? Box, the modular smartwatch announced they're collaborating with Qualcomm to make the new Snapdragon 400 processor work in its watches. So that's uh, interesting, I guess. And Streetcom unveiled a prototype case that can be placed right side up, upside down, and on its side, however you feel. And Streetcom wants that feel too, so... I found another case from Fractal Design. Look at this one. You can put it right side up. You can put it on its side, although you scratch your window. You can put it on the top, but you scratch the top. You can put it on the other side, scratch the side, and you can put it just like that and scratch the front, and Keys is upset now. Yeah, that was scary. I like turtles. Oh man, tax is so lame. I mean, yeah, it helps maintain critical social and federal infrastructure. Not that they used it to pay for that new bridge that I have to pay a toll for but it's lame and we feel you. And that's why NCIX is having a save the tax event from June 5th to 25th. Pay no tax on over 30 TVs and sound bars from LG and Samsung. That is to say there are 30 models available, not that you have to buy over 30 TVs in order to leverage it. If you're a customer in BC and Ontario, make sure you head to an NCIX store because who knows, maybe there's a super secret extra discount code or something like that. I can't say, I don't even know. I just got here and read the script. So if you shop online, use coupon code save the tax. No one wants to save the tax. We want to get rid of the tax. That's a stupid code. Save the tax. That's like, like free hat. 
Anyway, this stuff is gonna sell out fast, so get them before they're gone. Click here to see a full list of applicable products and click here to see a list of NCIX stores. And if you wanna check it out in person, go to one of those. And if you don't, then uh, the other link. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. And until the clock strikes 12 again, I will see you at the keystone of the infinity gate. Make sure to bring an eye of Newt and the tail of Squirrel. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> that makes sense if you read the out in the intro. I don't read your intros. You should know that. No, but your hair looks good when it's messy. Oh, no, it doesn't. It does. Mine, mine, mine doesn't because it's like straight as, you know, an arrow. God, I hate my hair. My hair is straight as an arrow. No, it's not. It's, it's curly. Like you have curly hair. Are you for real? Are you, like, are you just trolling me right now? What are you talking about? I don't have curly hair. My hair is completely straight. No, really. No, really. I mean, I have curly hair. It's well, not up it's here. All over the place. Well, yeah, because I did that. Okay, it's not curly. It's wavy. It's not wavy. Your, your hair has more natural curl to it than mine does. No. <laughs> okay, tell you what. Mine is, mine is straight up like, it's like, looks like I straightened it. Mine's never been that long. Well, why not? Because it looks stupid. Maybe you'd have an argument <laughs> if you grew it out. <laughs>